ripples create ripples when a single pebble is dropped into the water this single pebble of the past people's union was thrown into the ocean of the province of st thomas the apostle chennai on november 22 1922 by the valiant and daring missionaries today the fma india is gearing toward this centenary celebration for the philip rinaldi the founder of the past people's union said wherever you are and whatever work you always find a home that is open and welcoming and he called it as past people's union the history of the past people's union started way back in st mary's velour when the first batch of the students of st mary's teacher training institute were invited for 3 day celebration from 28 to 30th january 1938 the chronicle of the house testifies that the then mother provincial sister clotilde coliello arrived from chennai to inaugurate the first past peoples union there were 20 of them who spent 3 days with lot of fun noise sports games and not forgetting the spiritual animation through animated prayer holy eucharist and conferences by the provincial the animator sister teresa balestra and the salesian priest by name reverend father joseph sandanam the past peoples returned home determined to be a credit to their alma mater another historical landmark in the annals of st mary's velour was the first world past peoples congress it was first of its kind held for the past peoples from madras bangalore north arcot wellington and irkad in the year 1978 why 1978 it was the golden jubilee of its foundation for st mary's velour st joseph's arani and sacred heart convent polur reverend mother letitia galetti the general counselor of the past peoples of world federation from rome was invited to be the chief guest and she was warmly welcomed by the then mother provincial sister helen fernandez and sister aloysius antonet the provincial delegate of the past peoples other special invitees were reverend sister maria rampini the delegate of the past peoples and the editor of the magazine past peoples international union mrs raymond grimaldi the president and miss ines barone the vice president of the world past peoples were to invited The Congress was inaugurated with Eucharistic celebration in the open ground of St Mary's School. For the Benjamin Putota, the Salesian Provincial of Chennai Province was a chief celebrant. It was a great joy for Mother Letitia to address 800 past peoples on Salesian spirituality. Mrs Grimaldi on dialogue and Miss Ines on the travel account to West and Middle East. for the concluding ceremony most reverend dr antoni mutu bishop of velour was invited to preside over the eucharistic celebration it was a unique experience of solidarity service and love to the institute the past peoples of st mary's velour and axilium katpadi are here to share the ripple effects of small things that emanates perfume of salesian spirit Hi friends, this is Anne Uma Maheshwari speaking from Vellu, Tamil Nadu, India. As the past people of Saint Mary's Convent, Vellu, Auxilium College, Auxilium Higher Secondary School, Katpadi Vellu, I would like to share my experiences. The ripples of FMA in India impact. I serve as an official in the rehabilitation of children who are in need of care and protection. and the children in conflict with law and also in the rehabilitation of women in immoral traffic the victims of immoral traffic have been offered rehabilitation through our services the past people unit of the salesian family is standing as an extended hand and we are spread globally we stand globally against all the challenging situations of life the stormy situations which bring lot of catastrophes in our lives has been declined through our strong self confidence self reliance and 
we work with endurance so these moral values are helping us to serve the society as daughters as wives as mothers as mother in laws and grandparents we are very grateful to the salation family who have made what we are today our alma mater will continue its service on and on and we will always stand supporting them in all their ways thank you this is vetri selvi i feel proud to say that i am one among the past pupils of auxilium girls i secondary school at katpadi and i feel much prouder to say that i still pursue my studies in this auxilium institution yes i'm currently pursuing my ba degree in auxilium college i have never thought that i will become such a responsible girl in the society when i stepped into this institution auxilium institution always believes that those who were chosen by god can only be an auxilium Yes, I am very thankful to God because He has chosen me to be a part of this uh, Salation family. Salation institution always stands unique for its moral values and for the education that it provides to the students. It has inculcated me the discipline, how to respect the elders, and moreover, how to become a responsible citizen in the society. I still remind myself with the thought that is. If you keep God as your first everything will fall rest. My sisters and teachers have uh, taught me how to gain a disciplined behavior and uh, they have helped me to recognize the hidden qualities within myself. Charity day celebrations have enlightened to me that charity should see only the need and not the cause i wanted to extend my thanks to my school sisters and teachers because they have sowed the seed of leadership quality this gift i got from one of the very blessed and the fortunate student who were able to complete my schooling in various catholic institutions my school was my second home where i experienced a mother a sister a friend a mentor and many more influencing personalities were touched my life to be frank but i couldn't remember what i've learned in the subjects but i could carry out and cultivate the human values the skills and virtues which was taught during moral science class during nss camp and various charity based activities yes it has enabled me to become a successful a compassionate medical social worker to work for the esteemed institution called Christian Medical College Bellu and also as a district level nominated family counselor yes i agree it's a god's call uh, i take pride to say that i've been an instrument in reconciliating more than 5000 families and nearly 6000 to 8000 students and adolescents been guided under career counseling and guidance i am also a trainer of the trainer and also facilitated research techniques to come up with new interventions for social change no words to express my exalted emotions after 32 years when i was called as a guest speaker to address a st mary's gathering i humbled myself to thank each and every one especially the teaching and the non teaching faculties of st mary's convent who have contributed in building us and holding our hands to carry the light of hope and to bring joy and harmony in the society thank you one and all hi i am shri shruti ishwaran i am a past pupil of auxilium girls high secondary school katwadi i am currently an allied health intern at shri ramachandra medical college chennai auxilium has been my second home where i spent most of my childhood with i always remind me of this bible verse for many are called but few are chosen i am thankful and happy that i was chosen to be an auxilium first thing that i was ever taught when i joined lkg was to respect god to give time to god to start anything that i do with a prayer and to end with a thank note for everything god has given me in life the daily morning prayers the bible week celebrations the rosaries the holy masses have improved and increased my connectivity to god So even these habits are the same today in me. My sisters and teachers are the people who gave me the courage to stand in front of a crowd and speak out. For the past 17 years, the speaking skill has been my greatest possession, I would say. I did not know it then, but I get it now. 
This boldness I've got from my school has put me in great positions. I'm a student council member at my university and I'm a recipient of the best NSS volunteer award at my university level. Auxilium and my involvement in Girl Guides has taught me what good leadership and social commitment is. The volunteerism that I've got since my school days has led me to do various services in society like flood relief campaigns, fundraising programs for cancer children and their surgeries, food donation campaigns, Sunday teaching programs for orphan children and tree plantation drives. I'm happy and proud today that I'm keeping up with the pledge I gave every year in the Institute Ceremony as a leader. Wherever I go and whatever circumstances I may be in, I shall be a true auxilium. Yes, I'm happy that I changed the lives of many people. I brought smiles on many faces. Thank you, Auxilium, for making me a better person. Grazie mille. This is Esther from 2010 batch of St. Mary's Girls High Secondary School, Vellore. My father is a chartered accountant, so I started pursuing my chartered accountancy course once I completed my 12th standard. Now I am taking care of his office with 12 staffs. I feel very proud and privileged in presenting about the Salation Education Method. Empathy, Dedication, Understanding, Care, Attitude, Tackle, Impressive, One for All and Navigation. This is the abbreviation for education we learn from our Salation Education Method. Empathy. Standing in the shoes of the deserved person and acting for them is the basic quality we have been taught. Dedication. Every mother and sister in the education system taught us by living and not by words. Understanding. If any confrontation comes in our life, we have been taught to understand the situation and the people. Care. We cared for the family, society, nation and the whole earth. Mother Mary cared for the Son of God and stood as an example for us. Attitude The positive mental attitude we learned from our institution and education system to face any worse situation. Tackle We tackle the situations in the family as we have been taught the above qualities. Every girl from Salation family is the best bride for a man. Impressive Every educator left their footprints in our hearts and in turn we impressed every place we lived and left. One for all. For God and country is the motto we learned in all our days and we follow it in our life. Navigation. Being the torchbearer of truth and love, we navigate the family and the world as our mothers and sisters did in our lives. I presented the above abbreviation from my heart out of 14 years of mentorship in the Salation education system. Thank you. I am Dr. Shri Priya and I belong to the 1989 10th standard batch of St. Mary's School, Vellore. I am now a pediatrician in the Tamil Nadu Medical Services. The compassion towards fellow people that I imbibed during my early schooling helped me to stand out as a good doctor in my field. The strong roots of values that I grew helps me to stand tall and face the current pandemic in the front lines. Let me share a small incident from my school life. It was during my 10th standard board exams. I fell ill. It was chicken pox. But the way I was taught on a daily basis made me to have a strong understanding of the basic concepts and I performed well in spite of my illness. I can never forget the care and support by our headmistress at those times enabling me to write the exams sitting in a separate room, taking care that I was comfortable throughout. With all their support, I came out in flying colors in those exams. I was the topper in a North Arpa district as well as a state rank holder too. Not only in academics, but every opportunity I had to perform in the various stage shows at various events, be it be a speech, or a drama role, everything helped me to build self-esteem and self-confidence for the future real world. I cherish the bond with all my classmates. We stay as a closely knit group even today. I thank my alma mater for all that I've received. Hello everyone, this is Cyril Philoramia, past people of St. Mary's High Secondary School, Vellore, passed out in the year 2005. 
I'm privileged and overwhelmed to take this opportunity to share my experience about my noble institution on the occasion of the centenary year celebration. St. Mary's is not just a name, nor even a brand. It is the legacy of Jesus and St. Don Bosco. It is a way of life. I mean it. It is a way of life because it is in the simple yet glorious portal of wisdom and love I spent my most beautiful, most cherishing and the best learning part of my life. Salesian institutions are not just one among many schools in Vellore. It is the pride of the city. It is the face of the city giving face to hundreds and thousands of poor girls from remote villages. It has been the sanctuary of feeble birds and made them strong and fly high. Anybody can make big minds. But only our Salesian institutions make big hearts. Thanks to my sisters and teachers, I am now a teacher with difference of love, kindness and dedication. Thanks to my mentors, now that I am a multi-talented person, singer, dancer, decorator and a leader. It provided me with all opportunities to lead, learn and excel. Thanks to my alma mater, now that I am a person who treats all with equal dignity and respect. As Don Bosco said, this institute loved me not for any other reason, but only because I was a youth. Yes, I am a happy, creative, generous, hospitable, responsible youth. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Sahaya Divya. I studied in Axelium Girls Higher Secondary School, Karpadi from 1995 till 2002. My Axelium is a home, church, playground and a school where I found a new way of life to prepare for my future as good citizen while being faithful to my own religion. When I think of my school days, the most striking part is the child-centered education, that is St. Don Bosco's preventive system of education. As a mother of two children, I try to apply reason, religion and loving kindness, the three pillars of Salesian education which I have observed from my dear sisters. I am lucky having experienced St. Don Bosco's assistance through our sisters. I inculcate in my children what St. Don Bosco has said. Run, jump and shout but do not sin. The prayer Hail Mary has got an indispensable part in my life. As a family, me, my children and my husband start any kind of work with Hail Mary. Thank you so much sisters. Love you all. I am proud to be an Axelian. Today, with great zeal and enthusiasm, we would like to share how Salesian charism is being carried out by our past peoples. Our past peoples are the driving force to reach out to the marginalized and downtrodden. The service of evangelization is carried out by our past peoples by making the young girls to play a critical and creative role in the society for a better humanity.